Hi, I'm Eric D'Amato. And I've got a death curse! <laughs> and it's Friday the 13th again. Caw, caw, caw. Which means we're watching Friday the 13th, part 2. Yes. Electric Boogaloo. I got my official Friday the 13th, part 4, actually, this one, mask here. It's Yeah, it's covered in blue. And it's got a nice little axe mark in the forehead. Yep. And uh, I'm ready to watch a movie in my fa- one of my favorite horror series. Yep. Just because there's so many of them and they're so diverse. There are more. They really are. As much as I prefer Nightmare on Elm Street, they go places. There are more good Friday the Thirteenth movies and good Nightmare on Elm Street. That's very true. There are there are three good Nightmare on Elm Street movies. Mm-hmm. There's like. People Four would or five. argue that, yeah. Some people might argue that, but mm. like in, in general, like well, three of generally them are really for me, good. It, the first one, first the one, third yeah, one, first. and the seventh one. Uh, yeah, third one. Because New Nightmares, it, people say third one. Is New Nightmares good. accepted as a good movie. Yeah, generally. Some people, some people like four. So I, I mean, some people like four. I personally don't like four. I don't yeah. like the Dream Master too much. Uh-huh. Two, even some people argue over two. Um. But in general, it's it's, it's one of the more first, boring third. ones. Yeah. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna watch anyway. Friday the Thirteenth Part, part two, two, 1981. Friday the Thirteenth. Mrs. Voorhees is dead, and Camp Crystal Lake is shut down. But a camp next to the infamous place is stalked by an unknown assailant. So they don't actually go back to Crystal Lake. Yeah, they're it's not just that across st- the. It's across the. They're street. not that stupid. Yeah, they just opened another camp across the fucking street or down the fucking river from it. Yeah, and expect that to be perfectly fine. Well, they think the guy. They they're not expecting like, at this point in the series, it's expected. It's, they're expecting it. No, I mean at this point in the series, it's only the second one. Fair enough. You think it was just a one-off thing. By yeah. number six, when they keep doing this shit. Okay, now you, now you guys are being stupid. <laughs> no, but, like, they're opening this place up just, like, knocking on wood. Yeah. Like, it's still gonna happen. Like, shit's gonna get fucked. Well, obviously, we're gonna have a movie. Yeah, right. It has to be. But, like, still, if this were a real fucking place and you were opening a camp mm. next to it, a fucking camp that a bunch of murders happened at... Like, oh, wow, is the fucking, the property value going to fucking shoot through the fucking ground? It's going to goddamn plummet into fucking hell itself. And and we actually do go to hell in one of these movies. We don't actually. Yeah, I know what Jason goes to. Anyway, let's watch this. Yep, let's do this. Should Friday the 13th, 1981, be any different? Friday the 13th, part two. The body count continues. 14. All doomed. You're all doomed. 15. God. 16. Help! Help! 17. <laughs> 18. <laughs> 19. Part 
This movie had a death curse. I am the death curse of this film. Yes, you are. This was really good. I like this. This is just yeah, as good as I remember. It's Friday the 13th Part 2. It's an objectively good film. I know. This is wonderful. Yeah, we got nothing to bitch about with this one. A couple things. Come on. There's always nifty Well, things. nothing to bitch about. It's not like Puppet Master 5. Oh, wait wait until we get into this. We're probably going to find something to fucking probably. bitch about for real. Probably. I managed to fit this on like half a page. Mm. And I didn't have too much to write about. Well, you were just comparing measurements of the various women you found attractive in the movie. Only ass. Only ass. And and that one girl's tip. Yeah. This is the only two, okay? And I was ogling the black, uh, the black haired girl's face because she's cute. There's no black girl. No, the black haired girl. Oh. Anyways, uh, we start this off with Itsy Bitsy Spider. Crawling up the water. Yeah, there's a kid playing in the rain, and he's called inside. Mm-hmm. And then we see Jean Legs. Jean Legs. The scariest of all legs. Okay, we're just going <laughs> to get get it out of the way now. It's Jason. Dun, dun, dun. The killer Spoilers. in this movie is Jason. You know this, I know this. Let's get this move on. <laughs> You're spoiling it! You're ruining the film. I'm sorry, I'm spoiling a 30-year-old... <laughs> 40! Shit! 40 year... Oh my god. You're spoiling who the killer is in Friday the 13th Part 2. It's the same one it is in all the other ones. Except for the first one. Yeah. And the fifth one. And the fifth one. You're right. But uh, we get also the recap in dream style. Yeah, with uh, the gr- final girl from the last movie having a nightmare in plot overalls. What's her name again? Let me check the IMDb. I, f- I don't care. Wasn't it like... I want to say Su- like Susie or like Stacy. I fucking I forget. Oh god. Might as well just, just go to like the first one. Oh, I have to just go all the way back uh, in my notes here. Might find it before you. Alice? Was it? Maybe. Really? Okay. Yeah, uh, Annie maybe. Yeah, it was it was Alice. Alice, okay. Adrian King played Alice. All right, but yeah, she's getting the flashback. Oh, she was uh, she was oh, she was miscellaneous crew in The Good Son. Hmm. Okay. <coughs> I thought for a second she was like the mom in The Good Son, which would be an interesting uh, role progression. Yeah, that would be that would be a hell of a role for her. I I heard things about The Good Son. I haven't watched it, but I've heard things about it. Macaulay Culkin's a serial killer. Yeah, that I know. But I know that much about it. Like, it, oh shit, she's still working. Of course, she's she's still around. Hollywood. She's in a fan film. Really? Okay, that's cool. Well, like yeah, she's she's the 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 survivor girl. So like, they're probably. Have, I'm like, just sort of kudos style. to that fan film for getting uh, the main the actual actor. From uh, from Friday, from a, from one of the real movies. Yeah, definitely. Like you can you can make a Friday the Thirteenth like fan style uh, spin off. You can do that. It's yeah. not it's not difficult. All no. you need is just somebody to play Jason. And, and they're very they're very free with the, they're very free with the license anyway. Yeah, exactly. Like fuck, they had that uh, they had that Kickstarter game. Like they got like so many things from like the actual. Like, uh, likenesses to costumes to, like, the layout of Crystal Lake. A whole bunch of stuff. Like, they just throw that stuff if you want it, pretty much. Uh, unless, unless you're just, like, grabbing at it, in which case, like, that's kind of disrespectful. Because there was actually one character they wanted to put in the game. Yeah. And they didn't want to just grab that character's likeness, uh, because the person that played her turned out to actually be dead. Right. So, they actually, they, they were working on... Like contacting the family and everything, like the the next of kin, yep. to like ask their permission, and they actually got it, which like kudos honestly to like the people who actually like worked on getting it, like because most most other projects probably would have just grabbed the likeness and ran, yeah, but like no, they actually had the respect of actually like looking for it, so good, congrats, um, brownie points I guess, <laughs> um, but yeah, we get. Uh, and he just like, well, Alice uh, walking around the house, uh, she gets a call from her mom, she tells her that she's like still recovering from the trauma, like she needs to heal back all the gray health that she lost from Camp Crystal Lake. And, like we see, we see the whole ending of the first movie. 
Like, it Mo- recaps yeah. the entire, like, last ten minutes in, like, the span of maybe, <laughs> what do you want to say, like, but five minutes? to be fair, five minutes? when this came out, it yeah. was a year later, mm-hmm. and it's a kind of movie, it, Friday the 13th was the kind of movie yeah. that you take your girlfriend to drunk and just make out and don't pay attention to. <laughs> it's it's, it's that kind of movie. Right. So, so recapping some stuff may have been... You can still do that. It's also, if you're the that. ones who pay attention to the first movie, all right, yeah. boom, let's go yeah. until it's... Like, if if I if I had a girlfriend, I would take her to go see, like, fucking The Guide to Pure Evil or something. And, like, I would just make out with her during that because, like, you're not paying attention to all of the shorts in that kind of a film. Like, there's going to be certain ones that are fucking boring. Like, if I was... Like, if I had a girlfriend and, like, fucking VHS was playing in theaters, I would, like, take her to go see that and, like, not pay Did attention. Did that during... ever play in theaters? Yeah, it did. Oh, cool. I'm, I'm pretty sure it got a, the- a theatrical release. Um... But yeah, like I would not pay attention during like, like one of those shorts, you know, mm-hmm. like um, like the 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 one in like the barbecue one and like the second one probably I wouldn't pay. Hey, attention. I haven't seen the second one. Yet. Yeah, I know, but there's Come one on. like related to like a barbecue. Like I wouldn't pay attention to it. But what about um? What about do you like me? That I would pay attention. It's my because that's the first short. It's also yeah. my favorite short from VHS. Yeah, it was really good. I hey, liked the I'm, last one personally. I like the the fact that we died in that episode. Oh yeah, <laughs> fucking yes. <laughs> and we're still here. We now, might get chopped up though, dude. We're still on contract. We can't leave. Yeah, that's true. Wait, who signed the contract? Or me? I don't remember signing the contract. Oh, uh, you. Um, is that what? Is that in the script? Yeah. Hmm. Remember the um. Well, you when I asked you to play the Deadpool game for me, yeah. you picked up the controller. Uh-huh. That was signing the contract. Oh, that's why it fucking stung when I touched it. That's, yeah. Uh, okay, that's. I said it was pin. just to. I said it was just a B. The pin going into my palm. It wasn't a real B. <laughs> was actually just get, getting blood drawn from me. Yes. By a force. Yes. Of course. Understood. And that's why I was hearing Satan screaming in my ear that I will never be rid of you. Oh, no, that, that that's unrelated. Oh, okay. I'd actually get that looked at. <laughs> I should probably take a look at my fucking pentagram written drawn on my fucking wall. Yes, yes, you should. <laughs> Figure out what that all, that's all about. Um, she goes to take a shower. She comes out. She lets a cat in from the window. Yeah, and then she gets killed by Jason. Immediately. When, when, as soon as the water boils and Jason nicely takes it off the, off the, uh, the burner. Yeah, how thoughtful. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't smack her over the head with the tea kettle either. This isn't Sweeney Todd. Yeah, just, 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 Jason takes the kettle off. Yep. The kettle off, the kettle off. Jason took the kettle off. Kiddly diddly do. <laughs> Uh, then we get the credit scene that, like the title scene that actually just it explodes, explodes for no reason. It's a part two. Da, da, it's like da, okay, da, guys, da, just da, because da, you have da, a da, fucking da, da. budget doesn't mean you have to blow the title card up. It's not fucking Die Hard. Mm. Jesus, or Commando. It's Commando. It's just Commando. It's Who Framed Captain Alex? And then the gas station blows up. <laughs> It, it it's uh it's this, it's the animated crossover to sequel to Who Shot Captain Alex, yeah. which is Who Framed Captain Alex. Mm. The ti- the title card blow up, the title card go off. Yeah, and then the gas station go off. So then there's a van driving down. And then the van go. Off. Then there's a van dri- a jeep. It's more jeep driving down a road. <laughs> it's a four wheeler. It's got like a truck bed. And then there's a guy in a page boy hat and a girl with big tits, and they get out, and then their car gets towed. She has independent jiggle for sure. Yes, it's a little distracting. As per standard of DOA. Yeah. <laughs> they, they did a really good job with the, the bounce physics. Uh, they they go up to a phone box and then they see Ralph, who, who pr- abruptly tells them that the phone box has a death curse. Yep. It's like, th- you won't listen to me and the others didn't either, but you're doomed. That phone box got a death curse. <laughs> I really wanted him to actually say that as his, like, last little, like, hurrah. 
Because he got no lines after that. Yep. There's just none. Like, this is the last we see of him. And, like, he's dead now. He's not going to show up in any of the other movies. Nope. Like, he's done. Like, he's dead in the movies and real life. Yeah. Like, he, it's over. Yep. He's fucking ripped, man. Like, that's it. He's but, dead. Dead as a doornail. Yeah. The the tow, uh, the tow truck comes by and tows the truck. And then they chase after it, <laughs> but it was actually a joke played by some dingus who doesn't die in the movie. Doesn't he? No. He doesn't leave the... He stays out drinking. He makes it. Oh, yeah, the, the dumb one. Yeah, that dumb yeah. kid. I thought you were talking about the guy in the page boy hat. No. Yeah. He dies. Uh-huh. Yeah. He dies happy, but he dies. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, he dies pretty fucking shocked. But we'll yeah, but he, he got happy. He, he was happy. <laughs> yeah, before. he got happy. Um, <laughs> he, he, he died fucking knocking boots. Anyways, uh, fucking scrawny dude who, like, went out... Who's surprisingly ripped, if you get to look at him? Yeah, he's pretty built. He's a good-looking dude. He's, he's just, like, he's very lanky. He has an eight-pack. Yeah, he's just, like, super fucking lanky. Mm. He's, like, he's built like fucking Mr. Spaghetti Man. He's built like a fucking Stretch Armstrong. But, like, he's he's got some muscle tone on him. And, uh, he, he lives. He's one of the few people that actually live in this film, like... And there's a guy doing a um, a training camp for count, camp counselors. Yeah. He's got an assistant. Is that the one with the assistant? Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, she of course, he's place. making out with his assistant and stuff. And, um... She's in, like, a fucking Annie Oakley gel- dress. There's a black ki- a black guy and, a chi- and an Asian girl who do not get killed in the movie. They don't have any speaking lines, but I thought the, the Asian girl was cute. Yeah. So I was like, I hope she lives. Because, like, the first time I watched this movie, I didn't re- I didn't realize she was even there. I don't think there's a single girl in this movie aside from Final Girl you don't think is cute. Um, the black-haired one? Or the, the blonde? Final Girl. Yeah, the blonde. Yeah. Uh, no, nah, there's, like, maybe one other one that which, I didn't really care for. Which one? Um, fuck. Now you're putting me on the spot here. Um, wasn't there... Wasn't there another blonde one? Who was like? That's a, that's the opening girl. No, like um, shit. Uh, like there, there. I'm almost certain there was like another blonde one, but uh, wasn't there a black girl also? No, no, there was no black girl. Shit, I would have to watch it again. Not I'm in this one. Sure, I think in the next one maybe, but not in this one. Yeah, but like, come on, there has to be at least like one girl I wasn't making eyes at. There was a pretty girl in a in a motorcycle jacket. I don't know if that was the, the black-haired She's one. She's the black-haired one. She's the uh, one who yeah. wants to bone down with a wheelchair. Right. Also, there's a guy in a wheelchair. That's great in the forest. <laughs> He's cool, though. He's okay. He's fine. I had no problem with him being in a wheelchair. He was a, he was a cool dude. He, he plays, like, fucking tiger handheld games with his girlfriend. Yeah. And, like, they, they, they play to determine what position they're going to fuck in. They, they never, she never quite became his girlfriend. Kissing, <coughs> yeah, we're getting all lovey dovey, but um, what else happens after that? Um, we get Ralph riding on the bike, yep, he comes up in to the, up to the cabin, tells them they got death curses. He doesn't even get to say that, like, he just he's just riding up and he sees fucking Annie Oakley going up in her fucking booming up in her red car, yeah, in the red convertible, and he's just like giving her the eye and fucking like rides in there and he just wanders the fucking place and then we just see him get killed by a tree later on yeah he gets straight garage with barbed wire it's just fucking hardcore it's it every, every death in this is hardcore eh, not all yeah some are the, just throw up sled yeah the one hanging from the tree was is pretty like pretty just like tame in comparison yeah it wasn't wasn't super like harsh there was like we see like two seconds of blood not even like a fucking like, not as much as three milliseconds. Be yeah, we see like three milliseconds before like it just cuts away. Yeah, but um, again, it cuts away. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we also see that ass. Yep. And like half of it's hanging out her skirt. And then some guy. Well, like half of it hanging out her throws shorts. a rock at it and bounces off. He's got his. Uh, he's got his little. His, his little bully slingshot. Yeah. 
And he's like, ha, bullseye. And she goes, oh, you. She's, wearing, like, she's kind puppy. of into it. Yeah. And she's she wearing, has a like, puppy called Muffin. Yeah. She's wearing a Mickey Mouse t-shirt she probably got from the Tiger <laughs> aisle. Yep. Because, like, that thing can barely fit her at all. No, but she's just, she's wearing crop tops for the sake of wearing crop tops. Yeah. Like, she has, like, almost no tatas at all. She's got, like, very small boobles. Mm. But, like, You see them. It, they're there. We don't get to Especially see the, the nipples, the fucking diamond cutters poking we out. We don't get to see the big ones ever. Yeah. The fucking, the fucking tiny switchblades popping out of her shirt. <laughs> like, seriously, like, are those fucking, <laughs> fucking diamond cutters, like, you're going to the fucking the mines? <laughs> no, they're stone cold cutters. <laughs> you give somebody the stone cold stutter. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Uh, Austin 316. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Um, you get the bear warning? Yeah, and how they can smell menstruation. <laughs> Fuck, I didn't get that one when I fucking put it when I watched this. Putting the whole station time. in jeopardy. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know that bears are related to 70% of bear related deaths? What's, what's related to the other 30? Yes. Nicholas Cage in a bear suit. <laughs> bear girls. I prefer my answer. <laughs> no, that's a good, no, that's a good <laughs> answer. Like thirty percent of all bear-related deaths are just Nicholas Cage dressed as a bear going at you like I'm a bear. This is how teddy bears have their picnic, and he punches you in the face, and you die. Yeah, and then he climbs up a tree and starts like swatting at a beehive, and then he starts screaming, "Oh no, no, the bees! No, the bees!" Ah! And then all the bees come out, and they're voiced by um, <laughs> by uh, Seinfeld. Oh God, you're so. <laughs> then we have to watch the bee movie. <laughs> You know what would be worse than if a bee, could, if like there are bees that don't sting you, mm-hmm. but they make you watch bee movies? Oh, oh wow. <laughs> That's their torture? Yeah. Oh, God, not the bees. Why didn't bee movie have a not the bees joke? I don't know. Oh, what? Why was it that? That's like the most like fucking low hanging hive. I'm, and now I'm just going for fucking bee jokes. Um, moving along. Um, yeah. <coughs> uh, we get. Fucking uh, the story of Jason by the campfire. Yep, and then some guy jumps out with a spear and a Halloween mask, going ooga booga a uh, bloogie woogie woo. It's it's the lanky fucking Stretch Armstrong dude. Yeah, who doesn't die even though he's the idiot and he's supposed to die. <laughs> yeah, like the fucking the stoner dude in the first one dies. He gets it. Like if if you're the guy who do- goes around and shit disturbs people. Yeah, usually fucking Mr. Nyak Nyak dies fucking right away. This one doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> this one fucking stays around for far too long. For the whole movie? Yeah. Although, he has shit to live for, I feel. Yeah. Because the the barmaid really... No, like, she doesn't. She probably doesn't. No, she doesn't. She's tolerating him because he's a customer. Yeah. No, dude. She's tolerating him for tips. Maybe. She Otherwise, she would be throwing him out. Mm, well, he was looking for an after-hours place, so like maybe he was getting thrown out. I don't know. Well, no, the bar was closing because oh, it's a so normal ass yeah. bar, so it closed at like three a.m. Maybe, but nobody else is leaving. Old man will stay in there. Yeah, it's because the old man's in the mafia. You don't get to keep the <laughs> mafia out. He extorts the bar. <laughs> It's like, hey, you throw me out, Mr. Mr. Fucking Jim, Jimmy and One Eye is gonna come in here. And he's gonna give you his his good eye. He's gonna give you his, his good eye. He's gonna stay you down. You know? <laughs> fucking, fucking Eddie, Eddie One Hand. He's gonna come here and slap you. <laughs> Not Billy's Vi Hand. Yeah, it's Billy, Billy's Vi Hand. He's, uh, he's out of the picture. You, you, you don't want Billy's Vi Hand. Yeah, yeah he's, uh, he's in retirement right now. Him and his, uh, his big Vi Hand. Dude. He's just like, he's just fucking Ash Williams with a fucking Zvi hand really yeah. to his fucking wrist. That would be fucking torture, bro. Imagine living your life with a fucking Zvi hand <laughs> to your fucking wrist. Most Dark Souls enemies do. <laughs> yeah, but that's fucking torture. Yeah. Like, that's fucking, that's my point. Like, well, like, even, even the Chosen Undead can choose to, like, fucking 
like take away his own weapon you know like mm-hmm. he can at least just like be barehanded if he wants to like you can dress casual fucking like like ready for fucking dinner you know it's like even you can get all proper like it's possible but like these fucking these hollowed out motherfuckers hell no um fucking we get uh the the blonde the bra yep she starts making out with her boyfriend paul yep ralph gets strangled by the tree i think it's inferred that she's on her period which is why she can't why she she doesn't because in the morning when she wakes up in the morning it um he's paul's written beware of bears oh god really and she says in the scene before i have something to tell you and that's why they can't fuck Oh, fuck, that's what it is? Yeah, okay. that's how I infer it, at least. All right, yeah, that's probably... And it. we've all been there. Yeah, yeah, it's when it's when it's Shark Week, you know? Yeah, it's like, ah... You got no nookie. Fair enough. Yep. You gotta, you gotta give, it, give it all for the nookie. So you could take that. Mm-hmm. So you could take that cookie. Mmm, the cookie. <laughs> um, Can we keep talking about Fred Durst? No, but we could talk and start talking about muffins instead. Oh, <laughs> that stupid fucking shit. Instead of cookies. I fucking hate shih tzus. Yeah, this fucking, this dog just like wanders off and like fucking we see it wander off to somebody. Yeah. We, we, we can't see who. And then t- uh, tits, and, uh, tits and Newsboy wander off to go visit Camp Blood. And then dog. they get they find a dead dog and get turned away by the cops. It's a very fucking dead dog too in the middle of the forest. It's gutted and shredded. Yeah, like you can't nibbled tell on. It's what the fuck. Nibbled on. It does have black and white hair. You can tell that. Yeah, which the Shih Tzu does have, but like it, it's 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 not the Shih Tzu. No, but you're supposed to think it's the Shih Tzu, right? But and you would have thought it was the Shih Tzu had I not told you directly. Well, because I don't remember the movie that much. But I, I, wa- I watched it when I binged them all this past summer. Yeah, I know. So I it's so fresh in my head. I know. I watched it when I was young. I watched it when I was like probably, I was probably like 14 last time I saw it. But um, anyway. Uh, oh, yeah. A bunch of them jog on the beach and like fucking Mr. Wheelchair is just in his tank top and shorts just like on the sidelines. He's just yelling at him. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, come on, man, get some fucking exercise. Like, yeah, sure, you're in a fucking wheelchair, but, like, roll around, man. Yeah, but why did they bring a guy in a wheelchair to the fucking woods? Because. Fuck him. Throw him out into nature. Fucking let that shit sort him out. Fucking survival of the fittest, Darwinism, all that jazz. (laughs) (laughs) That's what these movies are for, right? Yeah. Separate the weak from the small. Hey, the the weak from the strong, the the, the shit from the... the, Kill everybody. the wheat from the chaff. It's just to kill everybody. The the tits from the ass. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just still talking about tits. And they ass get now. brought back by the cops. The cops is yelling. The cop is yelling at Paul. Yeah. Old officer Wilfred Brimley. And then he follows. It's not actually Wilfred. No, he looks, like, looks like he has diabetes. He's leaving. Uh, he's leaving the camp all grumbly, and then he sees a guy walk off into the woods. So he runs after him. Yeah. And finds a cabin in the woods. And in the cabin, he finds a book bound in human flesh and inked in blood. And yeah, and in the basement, there's a whole bunch of other fucking myths. Including a poster for Hills Have Eyes. Yeah, and basilisks. And balets. <laughs> so, so he... Um, are there are fucking balets down there? Yeah. Are there a fucking femto down there? <laughs> so he gets... The cask his, is getting raped down there, oh no. He gets a, uh, a nice pick to the back of the head from old Jason, mm-hmm. who ends up being the owner of this shitty cabin. Yeah, he owns this establishment. Yeah. I am the owner of this establishment. You despise me, don't you? <laughs> Kajit is innocent of this guy. <laughs> and then it's night. Uh, two people, uh, some people are arm wrestling wheelchair guy who can't win. <laughs> He's a strong motherfucker! You want to arm wrestle wheelchair man? The chick with the nice ass, Terry, goes swimming. Oh yeah, she goes skinny to Slingshot steals her clothes. Of course he fucking does. And well, she's following him to get him back. And he's being an asshole. He steps in a fucking snare and gets hung upside down. Where's my snare? There's no snare on my headphones. Have you ever been hated or discriminated against? I have. I've been protested and demonstrated against. <laughs> you're not gonna get that one. No, do you? You're not. like I'm gonna. <laughs> but he gets fucking snared up into a goddamn tree, and she's just like, "Are you gonna give me back my clothes?" 
I don't have your clothes. I'm hanging upside down, bitch. No, your clothes are on the goddamn floor. Go pick them up. Can you help me out of here? Go find Only me. Only if you tell me that you're going to cut the shit. Yeah, I'll cut the shit. If you well, cut this shit. I'll cut this shit like your goddamn thong lady. Get me out of this fucking thing. <laughs> so she goes to she goes and finds a Swiss Army knife, but in the meantime, mm-hmm. he's had his throat cut by a machete. Yeah. I wish he could have actually said that line. That's a clever yeah, line. It is. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Uh, she, he's hang, she comes back to him. He's dead. She runs mm-hmm. off and gets killed. Yeah. Somehow. How does she die? She dies as a result of coming back. Like, she, she goes to get her pocket knife, Yeah. comes back, goes to cut him out of the tree, but then realizes he's dead already. Yeah, but how does Jason kill her? It's not really determined. Like, I think he just takes a fucking pickaxe to her head, because she yeah, ends up enough. being found next to the, 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 the minor dude's cabin. Yeah. So, like, I assume that she was killed with the pickaxe. Because, um, like, her body's perfectly intact. Page boy and tits go upstairs. Uh, pa- pa- uh, Newsboy and tits go upstairs to fuck. Yeah. They both get speared. Spear, spear, spear. They, they get a spear stabbed to both of them and die. Oh, like but that. first, but first, we get a the my favorite fucking kill in this film. Yeah, which is fucking the wheelchair guy. Yeah, machete to the fucking face, and then down on the falls down, down the fucking stairs. stairs. So and this good. happens while the girl who wants to fuck him <laughs> is out getting some stuff. Yeah, and then she hides in the car, and I think she just gets strangled. Yeah, I think so. It's like it's kind of unclear. I wasn't paying really much attention to her. No, she gets pitchforked. Yeah, she gets killed because she's hiding in the car, but it's a convertible. So he stabs a pitchfork through the ceiling. Fucking genius! Oh my god! <laughs> Whoever wrote this fucking like, the the one who wrote this. Yeah, <laughs> it's just a good fucking job. <laughs> like, and you'd think the blonde one would be the one hiding in a fucking convertible. That's like <laughs> that's like the fucking potato blonde joke. Have you heard that one? No. Oh, God, I'm going to tell it really fast. You fuck potatoes. No, really fast, I'm going to tell the potato blonde joke. Okay. okay. So there's a blue, brunette redhead and a blonde, okay? They, they're they hiding from the police, okay? They just escaped from prison. They they hide inside of a barn, okay? They're, like, one of them hides in a potato sack. Okay. Um, Another one hides... Well, the blonde hides in the potato sack. Uh, The brunette hides... In um like a like a, a, a but like a basket I think yeah and another one hides in like a like a reptile uh cage or something like a, like a, a place for like fucking like reptiles so fucking cop comes in and like starts poking at the reptile cage so she just starts going ribbit 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 the the brunette right okay so goes over to the next one and. The redhead is inside of the the fucking the, the basket and she starts making cricket sounds like cricket, 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 cricket. And goes over to the next one. And it's the potato sack. So he starts prodding at the fucking bag. Yep. And the blonde goes, Potato <laughs> And that's the joke. <laughs> so who do you think gets caught? <laughs> I'm assuming the blonde. Bingo dingo. It's a, it's a fucking. I, I probably told it like really bad, but like that's the that's the gist of it. The punchline is just potato. <laughs> it's, it got me the first time I heard it. So she's I've killed. She's stabbed with a pitchfork. Yeah. Then um, they're at we, we're at the bar. Uh, Skinny's being an idiot. Yeah, he's, he's got, like, a whole bunch of bottles around him, and he just, like, grabs two of them, and he starts, like, fucking making yeah. binoculars at the... He, at the this waitress. scene's not important. Ginny and uh, Paul come home. A lot of the scenes could just be boiled down to... Ginny and Paul find a, find a place full of corpses upstairs. Pile of fucking corpses! But then Jason's still in the room, and he whacks Paul mm-hmm. with a spear, mm-hmm. and then Ginny's like, fuck, and leaves the room and, slam- and closes the door. But just stays by the door. Yeah. Fucking Jason. Jason loves that spear. <laughs> like he holds on to that. Yeah. And fucking kills. I think more people with the spear than fucking anything else. Than the pitchfork. Movies. Yeah. Kills more th- uh, more things with that spear than the pitchfork. Well, because he kills he kills, he kills two machete. people with this thing. Yeah. Everything else he uses multi he is what is single use. It's like a Punisher melee kill weapon. Yeah. He kills at least three to four people with the with the spear. Yeah. 
And like two kills with the pitchfork, one kill with the machete, and so on and so forth. Uh, one kill with the barbed wire. Yeah. But uh, yeah, he fucking he books that fucking. Speech. And so she she books it. He books it after her. Yep. It's a we have a bit of a road runner chase and with hiding. Mm-hmm. And at this point, she the Asian <laughs> looks out the window while listening to her headphones and just sees Jason chasing her around with a fucking pitchfork and says, Well, camp's over! And just packs her bags up and tells the black guy that she's with to get the fuck out of there, too. <laughs> uh, black guy went drinking. Oh, yeah, he was there, too? Yeah. Okay, all right. Um, maybe she was there with him. Maybe. maybe. Ginny maybe hides under a bed in a cabin. Jason's looking around for her. Yep. She sees a rat and she wets herself. And then Jason. I think she was more p- like pissing yeah. herself over Jason. J- Jason's hiding. She comes out and Jason's hiding on a chair. Yeah. But then the chair breaks and he just. He just. Ragdolls. <laughs> he kind of does. And breaks his pitchfork. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking. I forget he broke the chair and then like snaps the pitchfork against the floor. It's just like, okay, roll to hit, Jason. <laughs> One crit fail. <laughs> you break the chair and then snap the pitchfork against the floor. Look for another weapon. So he, he gets a pickaxe. Yeah. And then she eventually runs to the cabin. Yeah. We see J, but she sees Jason. He's he's coming. Yeah. With a sack head. Yeah, you could see him through the little like window, which on is the side, very, which I liked, which is a very nice touch. Yeah, it was cool. And he's he's like, oh, he's coming. Yeah, he's coming. He's coming. And, like, she gets inside, you just see dead ass on the floor. Yeah. And uh, the head of and his mother. And Pamela Voorhees' head. Mother. Yeah. You'll see and dead, the sweater. And dead cop. She puts on the sweater. Mm-hmm. Pretends Wait, dead cop was in there too? Yeah. Okay, I didn't see she that. She puts on the sweater, pretends to be his mom. Mm-hmm. He sort of buys it, mainly because he doesn't think anyone can be that stupid. <laughs> roll, roll convince. <laughs> Roll to convince Jason. Well, no, this is how it went. Roll, uh, roll bluff. Yeah, roll bluff. Two. Right. Jason, his uh, counter roll. One. One. All right, it works. <laughs> he looks at you inquisitively, but he believes you. <laughs> I've actually had that with somebody. Somebody in my fucking D&D. Like, fucking Anthony. Fucking rolled against a bartender to, like, try to explain something. He was, like, trying to get a barrel of water from the fucking barkeep. So, like, he rolls a two, and the bartender rolls a one. <laughs> so the bartender just gives him a fucking barrel of fucking water. <laughs> it's, like, just, like, but yeah, he fucking gives she, she has to kneel down, so he does. Yeah. And she's going to hit, kill him with the machete, but she moves too far. Yeah. And she he sees the severed head, and he's like, oh, shit. Mm-hmm. But uh, Paul comes in and surprises him because he's not actually dead. So she, yeah, so, he distracts Jason for a little bit, like tussles with him. So she, uh, she the whacks the machete on his um, like right, like in or into the clavicle. Yeah, it's like his left. Uh, it's like his left, like above his left shoulder. Yeah, the b- between your neck and your shoulder, there's yeah. like, this bundle of muscle, uh-huh. which if you get hit there, it's gonna hurt. Yeah, but this like is Jason a, we're talking about. But like anyway, it's gonna hurt like a bitch if you get a hit if you get hit there. Yeah. Like let alone if you get cut there. He's not yet. You get cut there, you're gonna have problems with your left arm in the future. Yeah. He, but you're not gonna die. Yeah, that's not a jugular shot. No. Jugular shot would have been literally if she would have hit it into his neck, yeah. just like straight up sideways. But <clears throat> like no, she like Jason swings is, it down. Jason is still just a man right now. Yeah, of course. So he goes down, they they go to the cabin. A bumbly man, but still. Um some, someone's life. coming in. Yeah. And they're like, oh shit. So she gets the pitchfork mm-hmm. and he gets the pitchfork handle held like a hammer. Mm-hmm. Someone gets a claw hammer to the back of the head. Oh yeah, the cop does. The cop gets a claw hammer. Yeah, we forgot to mention that. Yeah, I, I said that. I said it was a nice pick. I was wrong. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a fucking the claw hammer. Um, but it's, 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 it's he opens the door but just muffin. Uh-huh. And then Jason in my favorite of the Jason makeup with the long with the long ragged hair comes blasting and the, through the window. and the weird face comes through the window it's in slow really motion. Really good. Like I I think I mentioned last time that like the ending scene of the first movie yeah w- like was the 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 money shot the one that got in all the sequels. This is up there. This is definitely another reason. I think this the, shot was another I think reason though the money shot the for the sequels. first movie. 
was the decapitation of Pamela Voorhees. Mm, that's that was the too. money shot. Yeah. Because that was a good fucking shot. Yeah, but based on this one, yeah. it's got to be that window shot. It has to be. Like, almost nothing else really, like, has that much impact. We, or cut, like, we cut away to Ginny being carried into an ambulance. Like, care put into it, you know? Being brought into an ambulance. Yeah. And then we zoom in on the Pamela's seven, rotting head in the camera. Oh, and the dog comes back. Yeah, I said that. Uh, yeah, I forgot. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, because you don't listen to me when I talk. No, because, like, I'm thinking of what I <laughs> yeah. say, too. Remember that. <laughs> but, like, yeah, the fucking, the dog comes back, and they're all like, oh, the puppy, you know, you And then he comes through the window, and then the movie's over. Yeah, gra- grabs her up. She's being fucking hysterical in the back of the ambulance. Done, done, done. So, movie's over. What do you give this one? Uh, This one's fucking, this one's amazing. Honestly, like it's not my it's not my favorite, and I haven't seen this one as much as all the others. Uh, this and Goes to Hell probably are like the two least watched by me. But I I kind of like I really like this one, and I should be watching it a bit more. Um, uh, probably like in terms of which I like the most, probably this one. I mean, like I don't really watch the, these movies individually. I yeah. sit th- I sit down and I marathon. Yeah, this one's probably like third. Third on my list. What's first on your list? First is first. Like, yeah. I can't, I can't, I can't. What's second, though? Second, I like Jason, I like Jason X. Okay. I really like Jason X. Like, unironically. Like, I've, I've mentioned. I really fucking like Jason X. Because, like, mostly, mostly I like Jason X because, like, I, it was, like, one of the first mm. horror movies I watched as a teen. And, like, it kind of, like, it was kind of, like, the reason why I was, like, the sort of, like, as weird as I was in high school. I remember <laughs> seeing I the posters Jason for X. Jason X when I was a kid. Yeah, and it caught me. It and caught because I just, uh, before I just seen um, Jason and the Argonauts. Yeah. So I assumed it was just Jason and the Argonauts. And <laughs> that's a hell of a fucking, that's a hell of a judgment call on your head, man. But I never ended up seeing it until I was much older. Well, I I saw it in in the movie theater, like uh, in the in the fucking rental store a whole bunch. Like I would walk to Blockbuster and I would just see it in the aisles a whole bunch. And then like one day I actually managed to rent it. Like my dad rented it, I think, for us. Mm. And like I just sat in front of the TV and I watched it. So with, like, what do you give this movie? Solid, solid eight, solid eight and a half. Likewise, I think. Yeah. No joke for this one. Yeah, yeah, just straight up eight and a half. If you have not watched. Many of the Friday the Thirteenth, uh, definitely I, give this one a watch. I just watch say what I I would just say watch them all in order for um, Friday the Thirteenth. Yeah, for the most part, yeah. But like, if you're okay, if you just have say uh, a copy of like X two and like maybe four to choose from. Uh, usually people are gonna have one through four on like the uh, DVD. Most times, they, yes. they come in like the in the four pack. Right, but if you if you if you have to choose between like two X and four, I guess watch either X or X or two. But really, the way to go is just to like find them all streaming and watch them all one after the other. Definitely, in this day and age, like there's no reason you haven't have seen uh, like haven't seen them. Like this should just be. Like on your list. The only reason you haven't seen them probably is because you're a young kid and yeah. you you're not really allowed shouldn't most be of watching time. my channel then. <laughs> <laughs> but if you if you are one of these young kids, like why not, man? Just like just sit sit up late one night, man. Catch a break. Every everybody's gotta explore a little bit, you know? Like this isn't even all that bad in comparison to most other horror movies that have come out in the past like oh, decade. Oh no, no, this is not seriously. Saw. This like, is not Saw. Yeah, tw- twenty years have passed since like you're no you're no longer a fucking uh, like unless you're fucking Amish and you just haven't watched it. If you're Amish, you haven't watched movies because that's how that works. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> by my standing, if you're Amish, you haven't seen anything. You haven't done much. But watch this film. This was goddamn great. Solid 8 out of 10. Fucking glorious. Yeah. Like, just... I, I can't say more than that. I mean, fucking Siskel and Ebert fucking gave us bad reviews. Of course they did, because they're idiots. Yeah, and they gave the first one bad reviews also. Yep. What the fuck do they know, right? They're dead. <laughs> they got a death curse! <laughs> <coughs> anyway, <sighs> next week... We're back to normal non-Friday the 13th stuff. 
Yeah, we're gonna do more stuff. We got a stuff, so we got a movie which is basically Rocky in space. Interesting. About a man who must box the cyber demon from Doom. Fucking <laughs> all right. <laughs> that sounds fucking awesome. Till next time. My big broken fucking thumb back when that was a thing. Up to that. Till next time. Take care, guys. Don't go murdering people for no reason.